Now pay attention, Dr. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you leave. And the second, always have an escape plan. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it may be, everyone. I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy. And as you can see, I am joined with none other than Jocelyn Sia from Ladies Who Bond. We decided to do a new series and collaborate for this series. I'm super excited because it kind of shares uh, a little bit of my background when it comes to, you know, thrifting for Bond, but combining it with different perspectives. So... First off, Jocelyn, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to start this series. Um, do you mind telling the viewers what the series is going to be exa- about exactly? Yeah, so we're going to be starting um, a collaborative budget series, and we're going to go through, um, I guess, every single movie, and we are both going to pick an outfit that we like and then put together. Um, basically a budget outfit, uh, mostly from different websites and things like that. Uh, so you can recreate the look without having to blow your budget. <laughs> and I mean, it's perfect for me who I am still, you all know, I'm still getting through college and the college life. And a lot of those Bond fans out there who aren't able to, uh, you know, get Tom Ford or, you know, Turnable Nasser and stuff like that. It's, it's uh, a way to incorporate Bond and have that Bond moment without, you know, like Jocelyn said, breaking the bank, which again goes back to my thrifting for Bond heritage, I guess you can say. And I just think this series is going to be super special because not only do you have, you know, Bond and Bond's clothing, you have also the ladies of Bond, which Jocelyn has done a fantastic job of <laughs> putting something together for this first episode. With no further ado, uh, Jocelyn, take it away. All right. So. The outfit that I decided to go with is um, Sylvia Trench's red dress outfit. Um, she is the very first Bond girl you see on the screen, so and her dress is iconic. I could not oh, yeah. go with anyone else. Um, so uh, Sylvia Trench is played by Eunice Gason, and she is wearing a very bright red dress. And um, she wasn't going to wear this dress. It was an accidental... Um, well, it wasn't an accident, but it was more of a, a last-minute decision. Um, when she appeared on set to film that scene, she was wearing a like a brown-colored dress, and she just kind of blended into the background, and she wasn't too thrilled about that. So um, the you know the people said, "Okay, go and like find a different dress." So she goes to a dress shop, and she's looking around and. She's like, couldn't find anything. And then like way in the far back in the discount section, there is the red dress. And so what they did was they actually cut the dress and she filmed that whole scene with the dress held together with um, clothespins on the left side. So (laughs) that's why she's always facing that one direction because if she turned too much, then like you would have seen the clothespins holding her dress together. Oh, interesting. Yeah, wow. it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I had no idea. Wow. That's that's really interesting. Huh. Yeah. Cool. So the um the dress itself is kind of an interesting dress cuz it's got a little bit of the 50s style, but it also has a little bit of the early 60s, which is the it's um an asymmetrical like it's on one shoulder type of thing. And the dress is it's made out of like a tulle or a chiffon. It's got some sheer um, this to it and it's a bit flowy and when the first time that you actually see the dress you see the asymmetry over the shoulder and then when she gets up after she's done playing Baccarat uh, that's when you actually get to see like the length of her dress and it goes down to her knees and, and, and it's more of a, a typical circle skirt but not only is does she have the red dress, but she has so many other things yep. um, along with her outfit. I guess let's start with the dress. Um, I picked out two different options. Um, the best thing to do is to try to look at, um, what do you call them, like bridal shops and things mm-hmm. like that. And uh, you you might have a really good chance of finding this dress 
um, for like bridesmaids and, and things. So the first dress that I picked out is actually off of Amazon and it is by a company called Runacell and they off, supposedly offer custom sizing if you email them, but I haven't, I haven't tried it. They don't have any ratings on this one dress that I've selected, but looking at some of the other dresses they have on Amazon, like it's gotten pretty good, um, good ratings. So this dress is about $80. It's like $79.99. So it, it looks really nice and it, it has a wide variety of sizes, which is also something that I was looking for because um, I wanted to pick out something that I could wear myself since I'm slight, a slightly larger person. The next um, dress, which is also similar, is a, a bridal shop brand called Azazi. And they offer the same dress, but it's or similar style dress, but it's for $99.99, so it's a little bit more. Um, it does come in a wide variety of sizes, and you can email them to do custom. And they have a lot of reviews, so you can go onto their website and check out um, like people's pictures and how it looks on them. The one cool thing I like about that company, though, is that you can purchase or you can spend $10 and order the dress to have it delivered to your house and you can try it on for size and then return it. Um, it and it, it basically covers the shipping, so it doesn't cover the the cost of the dress, but it gets you gives you the opportunity to try it on. Not only do you just see the red dress, but there's actually a lot more stuff um, in her whole outfit. So when Sylvia gets up, she grabs a brown fur shawl um, and so I picked out something that it, it's like a beige, like a light beige brown color. And I found this one company that offers, um, a nice shawl, uh, and the company is called JJ's house. And so they have a very beautiful, it, it's faux fur. It's not real. It was probably real fur then, but not anymore. Um, oh, yeah. and they have something for, for about $50. And then the next thing that she's holding is a gold rectangular clutch. It is a trifold. Um, and so you you see her holding that along with her um, baccarat or her chips. So yeah. she's actually holding a lot in her hand. Yeah. Um, and so I have suggested maybe going with a champagne colored um, bag that you can find on Amazon by Jessica McClintock. And now you can find the, like, um, like a trifold clutch you, you, know, you mean cl clutch um, for a lot cheaper, but I thought this was pretty good because then you also have like a name brand for an affordable price. Um, it's about $28 on Amazon. Okay, and then there's the jewelry. So she has a lot of jewelry, um, which you you don't even notice until you actually start looking um, closely. So she's, she's wearing a ring. She's wearing a bracelet and it's a silver, like with black, um, black and silver rectangles. And then she has the brooch on her dress, which is, um, it has like filigree work with a black gem. Then she's got earrings, which have like a front and a back to it. And then she has a comb, a silver comb in her hair. Mm -hmm. And so I would recommend going to this company that I really like. They've been around for a very long time um, called 1928. And I think they even sell in department stores at like Macy's and things like that. But they sell costume jewelry. Um, for affordable prices, like usually earrings and things kind of run at about anywhere from 15 to 20, you know, and then they kind of vary depending on how intricate or how big the pieces are. And then the last thing is her shoes. And you do actually don't see her shoes um, in the movie, but I happened to find a still photo um, of her and her whole outfit. And she's wearing um, black, she's wearing black T-strap uh, heels. And that's kind of like a 1920s style of heel. And so the one company that I would suggest going with is Pleaser, um, Pleaser Shoes. They make all sorts of shoes and they cover all sorts of different eras, but they're pretty affordable. So the one that I recommend is the Vanity 415. It's $45 and it's um, like a faux leather. So it's not shiny, you know, um, but it looks nice and the quality is, is pretty good. And that's her whole outfit. There, there you go. Well, all viewers out there, you now have a chance to uh, find something that Sylvia Trench wore, which was, again, such an iconic 
piece. I mean, that's one of the first things that we see that started the cinematic adventure of James Bond. So very awesome. Very, very good job, Jocelyn. That's, yeah. That's cool. And I didn't be... know about that uh, clothespin thing either. So that's oh, uh, an yeah. <laughs> interesting piece there. Now, for me and my decision, despite, yes, me wearing the Dr. No homage, you know, baby blue Bond uh, shirt, I actually decided to go with a suit. And I know when Jocelyn and I were talking about it, I, I was trying to figure out, do I do the iconic tuxedo? Do I do? No, no. Everyone does the tuxedo. Everyone knows the tuxedo. So I actually decided to go ahead with a suit that we see Bond wear when he goes in. First off, you see him meet with Quarrel. It is the beautiful Bond's light gray mohair and wool suit that he wears, you know, with the blue grenadine tie, the wonderful white shirt. And uh, before I get into the budget part, I kind of want to do a little bit of the, the history of the original outfit, just like Jocelyn did in hers. So I got all my information where uh, I always go for my Bond style needs, and it's bondsuits.com, you know, Matt Spacer does an amazing job. Um so we know Sean Connery uh, was famously taken to the Anthony St. Clair Taylor uh, when he first was told he got the role for Bond and he needed to be fitted for suits. Um, so this particular suit is a blend of mohair and wool. Um, it's one of the best suitings for dressing up in hot weather. Um, it's a stiff fiber from Angora and from the Angora goat, sorry, when added to wool it gives it a stiffness so it helps wear cool and resist wrinkles which is perfect for the being in the bahamas um and this one he wears a silvery gray which is uh, mr spacer says it, it's the color is a silvery gray mohair wool suit and it's also seen in the scene where he goes to puss fellers uh, club in, in jamaica and he wears it both, and here's the key, he wears it both during daytime and nighttime. So when doing my research, I read that it is perfect for either or. It could be a relaxed evening suit, or it could be a formal daytime, you know, into the office type of suit. So I thought it was very, very versatile, which is something I look for in the outfits. Something that you can see, I can see myself, and the viewers can see themselves in every day. And I think nothing's iconic than seeing Sir Sean Connery in a wonderful gray suit. The suit follows the same style as the other jackets in Dr. No, uh, with a me modern button to front with the top button at the natural waist. The lapels are medium to narrow width, giving a subtle nod to the narrow lapeled fashions at the time. Uh, the jacket is cut with soft shoulders, roped sleeve heads, and a full chest and a gently suppressed waist, giving the suit a classic English silhouette. The jacket has double vents, um, a straight jetted hip pockets without flaps, a low welt breast pocket, and four buttons on each cuff. The buttons are light gray plastic to match the color of the suit. Now his trousers have a traditional English cut with a high rise to the natural waist and a double forward inward facing pleats. Uh, the trousers legs taper to a modernly narrow hem with uh, turn ups and the waistband has an extension with a hidden hook and on each side of the button tab, side adjusters with three buttons. Um, and that was basically uh, Mr. Matt Spacer's breakdown of the actual suit that Sean wore. Of course, we're going to go into the shoes and the ties and stuff like that. So to start off, the suit, I actually found a really good deal uh, on Men's Warehouse. It's actually called the Joe Joseph Abode Light Gray Slim Fit Suit. I think it's perfect because it does have that narrow to slim lapel like mr spacer's article uh explains and you can see in the film it has that bit of the pattern that you can see bond wearing and it is very very light um, and it ranges between 179 for the full suit to depending on if you need alterations because men's warehouse will do the alterations if you send an email in or send your me measurements in which is more of like a made to measure type of deal and that will run you about 215 dollars uh, us dollars so not bad for a full suit that you can get completely fitted to you and your size. Um, and again, let me say this. Everything that we talk about in the video will be linked in the description, of course, so you guys can check, check it out and have easy access to that. 
Moving on to the shirt, I was really excited about this because the shirt is actually a Sea Island, the original shirt is a Sea Island cotton blend. It's white and it's made from Turnbull Nasser, of course. Um, the one that I found was uh, by uh, Charles DeWitt, which is a British brand and it's found, they're found on German Street, which is really cool. Still has that British heritage and it only is going to run you. They're having a sale right now, so I'm not sure if it will still apply. But the shirt itself is about $110 originally, but on sale now it's only $39.95. And a lot of reviews say that it's the shirt to, to grab if you can. So again, right now it's on sale for only $40. Bucks. So if you're watching this now, as soon as it drops, go check it out and pick one up. Um, and now for the tie. We all know Sean Connery's Bond is known for the grenadine tie. And this suit, of course, has that. And it's the blue grenadine tie that makes, I think, this whole outfit come together perfectly. And the one that I found is on the thetiebar.com, which is a well-known brand, high-quality stuff. And their tie, it's called the Thai Bar's Pointed Tip Knit Navy Tie, which I try to say three times fast. Um, it's only 25 bucks, and it looks just like the one that Sean is wearing. It's, again, the quality is fantastic. Uh, Thai Bar is known for having great, great reviews and great products so that was my choice for the tie and i gotta go with goodfellow and cove where you can find on target uh, my the shoes that i decided to put for this outfit though is the goodfellow and co uh, joseph Os oxford dress shoes which you can find on target's website a great choice to pick uh for just everyday shoes i have a pair actually i, I have a pair that i own and i wear every day and they've lasted for years, and you know the quality is there. Um, so that is a shoe that I wanted to put with this outfit because the original shoe is a. If you look at the shoe, it's a Oxford altogether. This outfit would probably go, go super well, like I said, for a business atmosphere or or just hanging out with friends, and. Super simple to put together, super simple to find. It wasn't too difficult. I mean, definitely not as many accessories as Jocelyn's outfit, but nonetheless, a great and iconic outfit because it's one of the first things that you see cinematic James Bond wear. So that's what that's my outfit that I put together, and I'm I'm pretty proud of it because I think it, it's it's a great one to to have if you if you have a chance to add to your Bond wardrobe is the classic gray suit with that wonderful grenade tie can't go wrong with having a suit like that it's just it's timeless right that being said i had a blast putting everything together doing some research and and i hope you guys watching did too the moving forward we are actually going to be doing from russia with love on jocelyn's youtube channel so she's going to take the reins for that and she's going to have that uploaded. And it's going to alternate each each movie. So I guess you guys can see the pattern. We did Dr. No on that one Bond guy. And then we're going to head over to Lady Sue Bond for, from Russia with Love. And we'll continue that pattern. So if you want to watch everything in order, we'll make sure we'll have that easy access for you. And if you want to bounce back and forth to your favorite movie, you know we will cover all 24, maybe even 25 if we ever get the 25 movies <laughs> <laughs> and so that being said i want to thank you jocelyn for being part of the inaugural video of this series yep and thank you for for being a part of this this is, this is yeah, a lot of fun <laughs> super happy first episode went super well i had a blast jocelyn you take care everyone take care yep. be safe out there i'm christopher morales that one bond guy and be on the lookout for jocelyn's upload of From Russia With Love. So we'll see you then. Take care. All right. Bye.